today talking about derivatives of power series because they are just, um, these are really just polynomials, right? So they're not actually that hard to take derivatives of. So let's say we have the function f of x equals the sum from n equals zero to infinity of a n. Let's just do x to the, well, we'll do x minus zero to the n, x minus x zero to the n. So if we write out just a couple of terms really quickly, my plugging in zero term is going to give me a zero because x minus x zero to the zero is just one. So that's my constant term. Then I'm going to have a one x minus x zero plus a two x minus x zero squared, et cetera, right? So when I take my derivative, what am I going to get? Any ideas? Yeah, we're reducing to degree. So this a0 is going to go away because the derivative of a constant is a constant. So I'm just going to have a1. That's going to be my new constant term. Plus 2a2 x minus x naught plus 3a3 x minus x naught squared plus dot dot dot. So let's say I want to write out my sum. I'm going to leave my n equals blank for just a second because we're going to talk about that. But I basically have n times a n x minus x naught to the n minus one, right? I brought that n out front and then reduced the degree. But where do I want to start counting this? At one, right? Because if I started counting at zero, I don't have an a zero term anymore. That constant term went away. So instead of starting counting at zero, we're going to start counting at one. And that's because when we take the derivative, our constant term, um, our original constant term goes away and our new constant term is a one. Does that make sense? And then we could do a similar type of thing with f double prime. So where do you think we're going to start counting f double prime? Two. Two? And what do you think I'm going to write in my series, Sarah? So remember, our when we're taking the derivative of x to a power, which this is basically x to a power because we have x minus a constant all to a power, we bring down our exponent. So we're going to have n times n minus 1, a to the n, and then x minus x naught, n minus 2. And then if you wanted to write out a couple terms, you would have 2a2 plus 6a3x minus x naught to the first plus dot, dot, dot. Not too bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to boards for our last five minutes. 